Here's an interesting topic. Relationships. Well, of course, I'm referring to intimate relationships between two partners, right? A topic which has been used and abused so many times in movies, in books, in TV shows, websites, spiritual teachers, gurus, self-development, new age and all that. And it doesn't seem to be working because we have so many issues still. So is it maybe more of an entertainment topic rather than just an actual solution? Well, I've been studying this for a long, long time and I've used my own experience, the experience of other people, the research that I've done and everything else that came along with it. And I don't think there's a quick answer to any of these problems and challenges that come from having a long-term stable monogamous relationship. Some people want to have, in terms of reasons for, for having relationships, some people want to have relationships so that they're not alone, they're not single, because probably they fear spending time with themselves so much that they believe if, if they're going to be single for a while, the entire galaxy will end. I mean, the stars will collide and so long Milky Way, that's it. Everything will be eradicated, including their lives. Of course, that's not the case, but they're afraid of spending time with themselves because they haven't worked on that. And that's definitely something worth striving to achieve. So having a relationship just so you're not single, I think that's very selfish. I don't think that solves anything and I think the partner that will step in to that relationship needs to be informed. Hey, I chose you because I don't want to be single. Are you okay with that? Another reason is similar to not being single, but on the long, long term. People say, well, I don't want to end up old and lonely, right? I don't want to die alone. Well, True, I mean, I don't think many people want to die alone, but many do die alone. And to use that as an excuse to have a relationship is also selfish in my opinion. So, and it's un, well, not unsustainable, but not guaranteed. Because let's say you start a relationship now, right? So that you won't be alone when you're old. How do you know that you will still have a relationship when you're old? How do you know that relationship you have now won't end in a few months? How do you know that? You don't, you can't. So of course it depends on your age, but the further away you are from being an elderly dying person, the more chance of your relationship ending, right? So I want to have a relationship, I, do, I want to have a relationship because I don't want to be alone. Not, not cool. I, I want to have a relationship because I don't want to die alone. Not cool, not fair, and not guaranteed. <laughs> have you seen how many relationships fall apart? In, in Western countries, divorce is close to highest that's ever been, and marriage rate is lowest. So there are some statistics, you can look them up, but they don't look promising at all. So you cannot afford to make a lifelong investment in somebody just so you have a guarantee that you won't be alone when you're old. Of course, you increase your chances by having somebody now, but that's not a guarantee. Other reasons would be for company. True. It's always amazing to have good company. So some people say, well, life is better in two than in one, right? And I agree with that to some extent, because 
if you have somebody next to you, a partner, doesn't matter if it's marriage or just partner, you know, life can be better for both of you if you're right for each other. Right, not perfect. What is perfect? But if you have the wrong partner next to you, then your life becomes a living hell. There's constant mental aggression, physical aggression as well. There's torment, there's endless arguments, and for what? For what? For what? I, uh, I have some memories in beautiful places with the wrong partner and, and arguing about, about nothing. And that experience aligned itself to my memory. So I remember the place, but also the arguments, which is crazy. Why, why would that happen? So lifelong monogamous relationship is a goal worth worth fighting for, but it has so many obstacles that need to be taken in consideration. Monogamy is also one of them. I mean, I guess there were some people who are saying, oh, some species of uh, pigeons, you know, they choose a partner and they stay with it for the rest of their lives. I've studied that a bit, that's not actually true. Sometimes they may do it, sometimes they don't. And even if it was true, it's irrelevant. Are you a pigeon? No, you're a human being. So why are we comparing our life with pigeons? It's just crazy. So it's just a way of romant romanticizing a long and difficult road towards oneness of two people. And monogamy, this is also quite debatable because I don't know if you're designed to be monogamous for a lifetime. If we are, where are the instructions? Where does it say this is a human programmed to be monogamous? No, it's not like that. It doesn't mean we're programmed to, to not be monogamous. Some of us are a lifetime monogamous. Some are not, of course, through personal choice. So when it comes to long-term relationships, I think both partners should really, really come into agreement. Like, are we going to be monogamous for all our lives or do we want more? And if we want more, how can we make that happen while still maintaining the relationship? Can we make that happen while still maintaining the relationship? But the way it's being portrayed, well, it was portrayed when I was a kid, now it's changing, but still, the main idea is you will be unhappy if you don't have a partner, which is a lie. You must have a partner and be monogamous, which is a forced concept for some people. You cannot force it on them. And then, uh, you live happily ever after and all problems will be solved and you will be two elderly people holding hands and be happy. That does happen sometimes, but most of the time it doesn't happen. So we've been sold a lie in terms of relationships and many, probably all of us have traumas from our younger years, from my child, from our childhood years from our family and when it comes to choosing a partner I think the first thing to do is admitting that on a personal level we need to fix our issues to the best of our abilities acknowledge we have problems acknowledge we have traumas acknowledge we have things to improve so that we can be a better match a better partner for somebody who would themselves work on themselves to become better. So how about we fix our own stuff before moving into a relationship instead of hoping that a relationship will fix our own problems. 
which more often than not it doesn't. We're bringing baggage to somebody else's life. So the point of being with somebody, in my opinion, is to have your life better than it already is. And if you master, well, master, it's a big word. If you become comfortable with exploring yourself, knowing yourself, being comfortable with yourself, loving yourself, and realize that there can be serenity in just being with yourself for a while, then you will no longer be stressed out and pressured and to rush into a decision to quickly find somebody. Oh my God, I don't want to be single, single people, they just, they just die. Have you seen how many people walked on the street and they died, they dropped dead. And the medical said, the doctor said, the diagnostic is single, singleness, single people. They died because they were single. Jeez, it doesn't happen, come on. So instead of looking for a salvation, to a, from a partner, save me. I want to be with you so I don't want to be alone. I want to be with you so I don't want to age alone. I want to be with you so you can fix my shit. How about we fix our own stuff first? They fix their own stuff, we come together and we agree from the very beginning that we'll do our best to make this work. We'll respect each other, but if and when, if, when the time comes that we realize the relationship has burnt out and we no longer lift each other up and it's time to move on, then we respect, respectfully move on. Instead of pushing, no, we have to stay because we have a paper that we signed and uh, you no, know, it's for the kids and all that. The kids feel, the children feel love, they feel hate. They feel when their parents hate each other. So yes, it's a noble idea to stay together in order to, in order to what exactly? For the kids. You mean to show them how a family looks like where there is no love and there is passive aggressiveness and there is hatred? No, you're not doing it for the kids. Of course, you should be in their lives, but if the parents no longer love each other and they no longer respect each other. I don't think they should be together in front of the kids. That's, that's what I think. Maybe I'm wrong. What do I know? I don't know anything. So, of course, there's cheating, right? You can find somebody, get all the promises made, and then they cheat. Well, then, instead of blaming, you can just, you can just look yourself in the mirror and say, yes, I chose that person. I allowed this to happen. I put myself there instead of playing the victim game. So I don't believe having a partner is something that we need in order to be happy. Although if you have the right partner for you, you can be much happier. For example, I thought about the best experiences of my life and I separate them. When I was by myself, and they were amazing, and when I was somebody who was a right partner, and they were 10 times better, 100 times better, exponentially better. So it's, it's not twice as better to be with somebody. It's exponentially better. But the problem is, when it gets worse, it's exponentially worse. It's exponentially worse. It's just, it, it ruins and, and destroys the will to live. Endless arguments, da, 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 da. lack of respect. Oh, come on, it's just, it's horrible. That's no way to live. Nobody should live in a destructive, disrespectful relationship long term. Nobody. Nobody. Is that worse than just being on your own for a while? Is it? Is the fear of being single stronger than, than accepting endless mental abuse from somebody. Of course, I'm talking about negative cases. When it's good, it's good. Hey, those people who live their life together and they have a beautiful life and they get old together and they die together, 
and that's beautiful that is amazing but it's just a small number of people so we can play that game and see if we can win but if we don't it's better to also learn to be comfortable with yourself to love yourself so that you no longer desperate to be with somebody because if you're single the world will end right work on that desperation on that void inside address it and and learn to love yourself and and, and love your company if you don't love your own company why would somebody else love your company huh? come on i want to answer right it's not a rhetorical question i want to know that why right you come with all this baggage and you expect to be loved you don't love yourself why why would i love you right i'm being a bit mean i know but you get the idea and so it is a quick addendum to the idea of relationships it's something that i misunderstood for a long time probably some of you do as well and that's the suggestion that all we need is love right like the song says if two partners love each other then they can overcome any difficulty right no no not based on my views love is not enough is not all you need in order to have a life long monogamous stable relationship with one partner love is not enough there's also the idea of lust of course chemistry is important there has to be physical attraction and sometimes intense physical attraction is being mistaken as being love sometimes it is love but to go on a journey thinking that by being in love with somebody and they love you back then you will somehow magically for the first time in human history be the first people that will fix all their problems all their challenges throughout their lifetime of partnership just because they had love that's yeah i haven't seen that working out i will stand corrected if needed of course but love is not all we need when it comes to relationship <laughs> there's a lot of work there's a lot of compromise and of course love is very important and i believe that eventually that love will evolve into something much better a, a kind of love that goes beyond the physical attraction which is the first thing to go right chemistry physical attraction we have it for a while we use it we choose to <sighs> multiply and then it goes away so yes love is important to have in relationships it's important to mature that love where it goes beyond physical attraction when sex stops when when our bodies will no longer be feasible usable for physical love then we should and can and often do evolve to the point where we just love each other beyond our bodies and that's awesome when it happens but maybe there's this wrong idea that uh, you just oh, you love each other and that's it you'll solve all the obstacles that will come more in your way Nah, i don't think so love is just one of the component that is needed oh there's so many being patient being open-minded being respectful working on yourself to better yourself both of you there's you know keep dating that's a very good advice somebody gave me and i'm eternally grateful for that keep dating so that the relationship doesn't just plateau and, and then starts falling down the, uh, love is just one thing and it's ideal when it happens but it, it's not enough to keep a relationship going between two partners love is all we need when it comes to humanity because love is all we are 
we are made of love, <laughs> whether we not like it or not, whether we know it or not, whether we believe it or not, who cares? It doesn't matter what, to, what we feel about it. We are, for a fact, made of love, infinite love connected with everything that is. That is when the song makes sense. All we need is love. All we need is to remember the infinite love that we are created from. And then there will be no more wars. Then there, there will be no more conflicts. Then that's a, that's a whole different topic. But as you say, you know, we, everything that's happening is designed in such a way to keep us further away from infinite love. But going back to relationships, love is awesome, not enough.